Good morning, my brothers and sisters, on this episode number 302 of the Good Morning Guys podcast. Thank you so much for joining us on this fine morning, afternoon, evening, or night, as we are talking about the game of life amidst the other games we love to watch and to play. I'm one of your hosts, the Brazilian Mountaineer and Transition Ninja, Lucas Ham Swisher. Also with me to my left, skipping one person over the judge <laughs> jury and executioner of fake news and spoilers patrick and novo cell happy belated father's day ryan sean mark you joiners and lucas as well oh thanks for remembering <laughs> <this year. laughs> i saw that coming as soon as you started with ryan i'm like he's gonna totally skip me that <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm a dad. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, well, you got Cisco, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you're for a dad. You're for a dad. Yeah. yeah. I have Lion a funny story. Mark, Luke and Sean. Look at that. Close. <laughs> Look at us all. All right. With me also, uh, where are we? I lost my spot. Oh, with me to my bottom left? No. Also with me. Oh, Caddy Corner. Yes. Caddy Corner, the four. No, I'll be the bottom left butt cheek. It's fine. <laughs> left cheek. <laughs> The right cheek caddy corner, the former final member of the GMG Quadfecta with music in his heart, Doctor Who on his brain and La Coretta in his old stomacho, Mark Boucher. Hello, hello, my friends. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. hello and uh, finally with me to my bottom left cheek, uh, mm -hmm. the newest final member of the GMG crew, the North Kakalakian, who's possibly unlikely to have already eaten dinner, our personal howdy, hey, hey, handyman, Ryan Isley. Howdy, hey, hey. And yes, I also had tacos, Sean. Ooh, nice. How fitting. It's Tuesday. Speaking it Tuesday. of Sean, we have a return of our favorite Canadian podcaster. He has returned. He goes by many names, such as Mr. Clam Digger, Pool Pants McQueen, Khakis Kachow Jacuzzi. And that's just <laughs> in our Discord. Thankfully... <laughs> He has his own Discord <laughs> and podcast <laughs> with the Carpool Gaming Network. He is the illustrious Sean Capri. How you doing, eh? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I, I've been doing podcasting a long time, and it's rare. It's hard to make me speechless. I don't know what to do with any of that. That was incredible. <laughs> I had tacos was... tonight. My Edmonton Oilers are playing for their lives in the Stanley Cup Finals. I've got my Diet Coke. I'm stoked. I've got some, some business with here, Patrick. Over here, I got, yeah. I got, I got words for you, my friend. Oh yeah, let's go. But for Dang everybody, it, man, else, where's I, my popcorn? I love. You came something. to the right place. I got if you, yes. if you didn't have words, we would be in a world of hurt because it would just be like a silent mouth sign movement. language. Mm -hmm. I don't know Canadian sign language, so there's no telling. What, Pretty weird. It's all backwards. Out of your hands. It's all. <laughs> use your <laughs> use your feet. Yeah, it's, it's actually in French. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <That> tracks. <laughs> All right. If you're new with us, joiners, welcome. Pull up a chair because I got a feeling ooh, 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 that tonight's going to be a good night. Oh, okay. That's the song you were doing. <laughs> what, what did you think he was doing? I don't know. That ooh, ooh was weird. <laughs> Sorry, man. I didn't, I didn't trying warm to be up the Fergie? vocal cord. <laughs> what else? Yeah. Come on, man. Get your Fergie on. Get my Fergie on? Oh, wait. Go Fergie? Ahead, go with it. No, I don't do the Fergie no, version was, of that. Was, I do the I, OG version. Will I Am. Yes. He I, does I, that part. But Shamefully had their CD. It was just, they didn't do that originally, CD? though, right? Let's go. Had, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's their song. CD, Is it? Feeling yeah. Isn't it? Night's gonna be a good man, that seems night. older. That's Black Eyed Peas. It's not. Yeah. What? It is older. It's that old. Right. It is older. Thank you. It is older now. Sean Capri here to Who back is? me up. What? Somebody look it up in the Google machine. It's not Black Eyed Peas. You yes. guys make yeah. it up there, There's two people right now looking it up. Who's fast? Look it up. Click it. Click. It Click. is Go. most Go. assuredly the Black Eyed Peas. No, it's not. Yes, I'm looking it, it up is. Too, <laughs> You're going to fact check the fact checker. <laughs> you fact check the fact checker. I re a musician in the room? Uh, there's, I know there's more than one. Just one off. Oh. Lucas, what do you think you're doing? I'm checking. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I, would, I would play it, except we'd totally get copyright slammed. Right? Yeah. That's why I'm singing it. I've got a feeling, originally by, by the Beatles. <laughs> not the same song. No, I've got a feeling. Oh, I've got the feeling. <laughs> All right. No, if you're, you're thinking... not new with us joiners, you know this is how the garbage truck on fire works. Uh, we like to make up stuff half the time. If it weren't for Mark, we'd be able to make up everything, and you guys would <laughs> believe us. But then Mark has to go telling the truth. Gosh. The important thing uh, to do is to look it up. It's the way that it's spelled correctly. It's I got a G O T T A feeling. I got a feeling. So it's not like your proper English, I've got a feeling. I have that got a feeling. That movie. About I have this. got a feeling, sir. I have got I've got a feeling. I got oh, I wrote I got a feeling. I didn't I took have out of it. I got uh, a feeling. That's two thousand nine. Man, it feels older than that. Fifteen years. I Time like, is I a thief. It is. It I don't is. believe it. All right. Uh so with that, we have Sean Capri in the house. He is the overlord of Carpool, the Arp Carpool Gaming Network, I believe is what they're yeah. calling it now. We haven't and, added uh, network, but we could we could take it into consideration. We're adding it just to make you sound fancy. VPN. Okay. Yeah. So uh, why don't you introduce yourself? You're our guest tonight, and you're here to hang out. We're having some some hang time. and uh, But why don't you introduce yourself for the two people that don't know who you are that are oh. listening to us right now. <laughs> Um, I want to be like kind of awkward about it and just say like I'm Sean. Nice to meet you all. Like I just kind of like keep it nice and short like that because I don't really like I'm a I'm a I'm a guy from Canada. I I podcast about Nintendo and Xbox generally as part of Carpool Gaming. Um, but like I met all you guys through Married to the Games. Like one of the one of the OG right. listeners. Uncle man. Podcast. To every single episode back in the day before I ever got um actually I think before I got married. Yeah, that would have been before yeah. I got married. Like there wow. was no kids. I had. I didn't even have a wife. I had a nine to five, yeah, but I had no, five no kids. Five. I had no wife. <laughs> just the nine to five part. I was like, I got to work on my resume here to listen to this show. Yep. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> earned it, man. You got, you got in there and you said, yep. you know what? We're going to make this real. You made yep. it real. You did it. I, uh, I listened what, to the show episode, and that's when I decided to propose. What I'm episode? Like, I really enjoyed what start. What episode did you start in on married to the games? Early, early, early. Like, um, probably in the twenties, maybe like nice. 15. You know, I yeah. feel like everybody has the same origin story there. Back in those days, you, you know, you're tweeting about video games and then yeah. married to the games follows you and sends you a DM and goes like, hey, check out our, our podcast. And I don't know if I've ever told this part of the story, but my, um, my initial reaction when I got that DM from married to the games, I was like, who do these guys think they are? <laughs> messaging, me, <laughs> messaging me like this like the how's that gonna work gall. Mm -hmm, the gall how dare you? <laughs> not today mm -hmm. sir <laughs> little did i know very short time later i would be looking for another non-ign video game podcast and there there were it was just waiting mm -hmm. for me yeah yeah yep nice yeah i might have been one of the early probably like you guys as well like original actual people sending in questions or sending in answers you know, oh yeah! Just after they were making it up, that people were sending in questions and answers. Yep. So yeah, yeah that over was like, a decade. Yeah, dude. That was a weekly treat. Sending sending in questions and coming up with something. I remember I went on a stint for a while talking about random holidays and making yeah, questions just to see if they would read it. Mm -hmm. and, and they did. Uh, they, did. they did. They read it every time. Tim Router usually yeah. was the guy reading the questions. Yeah. They skipped mine sometimes. And I, I would actually go to, <laughs> I would go to the end of the, the episode first to see, to see, just to see if they read mine, and uh, and then I'm like, they then they. Well, I'm not listening like, now. Yeah. And I, would, <laughs> I, would, I would literally Uninstall. go back. I would literally Uninstall. go back to the list and see where my my response was in the list and see if they were going down the list and notice it's like, oh, yep, you just straight up skip mine. Mm. Well, dang it. That's, wasn't like, crazy, that. crazy ex girlfriend energy, but that's cool. So broken inside. Listen, it was it was stressful times, man. <laughs> I get it. Oh, I get man. it. All right. So Sean, here's how the here's how it goes. I was gonna here's how the download downloads. Um we Ooh, are okay. I'm just making stuff up. That's how it works. Because this is it. I did the plan. That's all I did. I got the intro covered. Now we're jump, jumping into. Are you uh, drunk? 
<laughs> love, love, love <laughs> no, You're the my one friend. drinking beer. You don't have to be nervous. We've met before. Like this. this <laughs> yeah, I, know. I, just, I don't. That's, you're such a famous person. I get nervous. Yeah, just relax. We're fine. I'm really man. sweating. Let me go put on some beer. He's all <laughs> flustered and everything. <laughs> <Just sweating>. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he's on vacation. Gonna, he has no rules. That's true. It's yeah. this is the most I've actually thought about what I'm going to say before I say it. So yeah, uh, we're going to talk about real life, fake life, and god life. And uh, yeah, we usually make the guest go ahead, but I'm going to call an audible, and I want I want Sean to really uh, marinate him on his thoughts and really know what he wants to share because i feel mm. like he's gonna have some good stuff to share most of the time i feel like when i throw it on the guest they're like uh i ate some food and uh i work <laughs> i work at a place that's all <laughs> so <laughs> we'll give you time working. to really think about it because they hear from us all the time so patrick mark and ryan and i are going to give quick little iggles and iffles and earls and then you're going to give us the full kit and caboodle okay mm. so mm. you've you've been warned sean Sounds good. I'll I'll just go watch the hockey game while you guys. Perfect. Yeah. I'll, I'll listen later. No, that's fine. Right? There's a podcast. I'll listen afterwards. Ryan there likes to play Destiny while we while we that's podcast. Not anyway, so I would oh, never. He's going to interject like, oh yeah, you don't say. Well, I would never. Oh, well, all of a sudden you hear click 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 uh, this past weekend, I went camping. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, nice. I always uh, look <laughs> to camp with the family uh, on Father's Day weekend, no less. Um, but no, it was it was fine. Uh, we had we had good weather. Uh, we went to a place called Fort Boonesboro, Kentucky, which is um, where Daniel Boone was. Um, it was really cool. They had, they had a replica of the fort that they had built as a community a few hundred people living there um so they they rebuilt it and we saw like uh it was like um like back in the 1700s uh, everyone was dressed in the 1700s attire uh there was a blacksmith there was like a, a spinner a gunsmith a what a What's all kinds of spinner yeah. black is a spinner like the guy yeah. that has like the little metal thing like and they... like yarn they spin yarn and it, and, oh yeah. okay. they'll spin like yarn spinster yeah, yeah. transponster well we yep. can't uh, call him the african-american smith so just like... <laughs> darn it <laughs> <laughs> yeah and and it was crazy like so we we um so it was a very not? historical <laughs> Speaking of that, it was a very historical historical place. I'm mad you and, um, about this. <laughs> one of one of Daniel Daniel Boone's guide from Tennessee to Kentucky um, was a black man, and hey. yeah, so it was he was he was a guide. So um, I was like I was like I want to find out more about him. And there was just like there's only so much that you can know about uh, about that time with, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was it was unfortunate because they're like they're they felt like the uh they were invisible in history um back back then um and it was like they're, they're like here are all the people who were a part of fort boonesboro is every single person um and then the last the last two people that were on that list it said a negro man and a negro woman and i was like man that wow. sucks that sucks you know like and then right next to that was like um a, a board of all the the things about those people which I was able to learn a little bit about them. Like there was like the um, the first black child within that Daniel Boone uh, had uh, had there, and it was like it was really really cool uh, historical place. Uh, same place was like the first Christian service in Kentucky was where we were sta- we were standing. Huh. Really cool like historical place. Like um, I, I I I I don't really like camping, but I like learning stuff about history about okay we're, we're we're living in history right now there's this is where they had uh fought the native americans this is why they fought the native americans um and just all the white man and just taking uh the land away from the native americans it was it was so wild so so just sitting in history and learning about that it was really really neat um so we come back on father's day 
And uh, I mean, I tell you what, the family treated me like a king on Father's Day. And so I was I they they made dinner. Uh, they got me everything I needed and they kind of left me alone. And so I watched this show called Constellation on Apple Plus TV, whatever it's called. And it's about a woman astronaut who goes to space and she comes back to Earth and everything is different. Things like small things like like the people that she knows uh, are still there. But like her car is a different color. The plates in her cupboard are in a different space. Uh, but the big thing is that her daughter also speaks Swedish because she speaks Swedish. But when she gets back to Earth, her daughter knows nothing about uh, about Swedish. She doesn't know how to speak it. She doesn't know. To, she doesn't know anything about it. And so it's it's all about uh, her coming back to a world that she does not know. And it is a wild ride. There's eight episodes. The first five episodes, I'm like, what in the world is going on? Everything seems out of order. Why do these people do? Are, are these doing? They, they doing what they're doing? I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. And so I'm like, okay. I, I mean, like, I'm halfway through. Let's just go ahead and finish it. And the sixth episode, episode, it drops a bomb, a twist like M Night Shyamalan. It is incredible. One of the best twists I've seen since like Signs six cents kind of thing it was really so it was such an awesome twist it was such an awesome twist and so like this uh from six episodes six seven and eight it kind of like just continues on i'm like oh that's why that's what happened in episode two or that's why that happened in episode three it was incredible so i highly recommend it it is a slow burn i mean it is a slow burn each episode is like between 50 minutes and an hour so Mm. it's it, it takes some time to get there but once you get to episode six, oh my goodness! Um, what made you so watch I, it? I've never heard of this. Like, what? Why you so pick this and then stick with I, it? I saw uh, there was a, a trailer. So I have notifications on YouTube, and they send me recommendations on movie trailers. That's what that's what I like. That's what I watch on YouTube. Oh. And they sent me a, they sent me a constellation. I was like, okay, I'll watch it. Whenever I have downtime, I'll watch the trailers. And if if it looks good, uh, great, I'll watch it. If not, then I'll move on. Uh, but this is one of the ones that was recommended for me. So I watched it. And then uh, there was a point where the uh, astronaut gets back to Earth. She's talking to her daughter. She plays a tape from what she remembers when she was in space. And the daughter is like, who's that? And the, the mom's like, that, that's you. And she's like, and the daughter says, that's not me. And then that was the end of the trailer. And I was like, oh, I got to watch this. How come that's that that she thinks that's not her? So I have to watch it. It was gotcha. very, very mind bending show. It was incredible. Lost Man. in space, like lost, not lost in space, but like lost the show. In but space. No, the Edmonton no. Oilers just scored shorthand. No. You've got to be kidding me, boys. Woo! Oh, boy. Woo! Woo! Stay tuned for bear, 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 bear. life updates from me throughout all Let's this stuff. As the, as the score happens. <laughs> oh, I make no apologies about it. They're playing for the Stanley Cup. They haven't been this far since 2006. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. <laughs> I'm like so happy. Lap around the room. So happy for <laughs> you right now. Oh my gosh. What a goal. Uh, yeah. So Constellation. I, I highly, <laughs> highly recommend it. I don't have Apple. Yeah. Do you have a rating oh, okay. for it? Uh, like I have 10, out 10. 10 out of 10. 10. I mean, 10 this was this 10. was Dang. this was so so good because it was a it was a a huge build up, and the payoff. I mean, it paid off. It was so such a good payoff. Pay off paid off. That's great. yeah. Wow. That's crazy, dog. That's what they should hear. You heard it here first. It, it's the, the payoff, payoff paid, paid off. off. <laughs> uh, what's it? Ten out of ten. What? If you're gonna give it a number, you got to give it mm, a uh, ten out of ten. Object. 10 out of 10 cows. cows. Wait, and you have cows to watch. like moo or cows C-A-L. as in California. C-A-L. Cal- Calories? California. Yeah. You never um, you won't know until you watch the show. It's incredible. I gotta tell you, it's one of the I best shows I've seen. Plus, so I can watch it. Forever. <laughs> it's so it's really, really good. That makes me I need to I need to re-up my um Apple TV Plus because the the other show that that show that you're talking about, like Constellation, reminds me of Dark Matter, that show that I was watching, which is also on Apple TV Plus. 
Um, and I, I think I'm like halfway through the show and I, I think I was on like a, um, like a free trial or something like that. So I mean, that, that, that show is, is sweet too. So I Sean, mean, Sean, you had mentioned lost. This lost. has lost vibes. That's what I was trying lost to say. Vibes. Yeah. It sounds it, like lost to me in space. Yeah. It, like it, it is space. It's a great it time, is. guys. You know, it's it's incredible. You like you, you said it. I'm like, <laughs> right, right like, before Edmonton it. scored. <laughs> oh no, we we get it. Lost just made lost me lost in space. The end. But it's <laughs> lost. Like if I if if I watch cool. Lost the way I watch Constellation, I would love Lost more than I hate it because that show was so horrible watching week to week. I loved I'm it. Like I love like what it. what's what happened? Same what geez. happened again? I, I don't remember. Loved it. Oh man, yeah. the watch parties and everything that takes oh, me back. Yeah, going back. Talk about watch parties like land parties. You know that? Mm. Yeah, because that just doesn't happen anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything's binged. Uh, yeah, you don't have time to. You don't have time to do it. I love space, um, though, you guys. Like that's the thing. I just oh, I, I adore it. And that space. Then this is it. This it this sounds may like be it's the for, show me. for you. Ooh. It's it's good because I don't know if, when I should get into this. Like I've got words for you, Pat. I just don't know when to get into it, man. <laughs> You were comparing mm. here. I'll just do it right now. Do it. Do it. Drop yeah, it. Let's go. Yeah, let's I don't go know if right it was now. last week or when it was, but I wrote it down because I'm like, I have got to talk to this man about this. You compared X Men Apocalypse, the absolute <laughs> atrocity that is X Men Apocalypse, <laughs> to Hellblade 2. You're like, did I? I'm not. Yes, you. Don't. What did I? So okay, what did I? <laughs> He's like backing up. Did I? Did mm -hmm. I? I don't remember. But you're mm -hmm. like, this game's boring, and you play the first hour, and they're all like that. And I guess it's just as bad as X Men Apocalypse. It's basically what you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like me. Okay, that sounds like me. <laughs> Roll the tape. I wish I would have come with it, like queued up and everything. But I'm like, oh, how dare perfect. you? How that movie? Is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my whole life. I cannot believe it's real. Did you and watch Hellblade's... the sequel, Dark Phoenix? Honestly, you guys mentioned that too. I'm like, I don't even know if I. I feel like they've tackled that that saga like three separate times. I don't know if I actually saw that one. I, but I've seen the Phoenix like show up in X Men. Yeah, before. of course. And the other, I don't know if I they, saw it that. It shows one, up though. almost every time. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. keep trying it. It's like if Phoenix doesn't show up in X Men, something's wrong. I guess so. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, Patrick no, I, and I are going to watch it next week. So oh, we fun. will check back together. in and let you know together I I in person. I did see that, though. No, I didn't. I definitely, once I watched Apocalypse, people, it like was so young... bad. When yeah. Apocalypse oh, yeah, was yeah, so was bad, I'm enemies. like, I'm out. Yeah. This is, I'm good. Oh, it's the worst. I should have stopped with Days of Future Past. It was ended perfectly. Yeah. No, yeah, Blade no two. it really did. The, the X-Men of Apocalypses. Yeah, no, that movie that movie's awful and i happen so to bad. really adore hellblade too so. you know what going back and watching it uh, a couple weeks ago i did not realize oscar isaac was apocalypse that totally oh, so bad. like sent him down in my personal opinion of his acting career like i thought man he's poe he's uh mummy no what is it what is it moon knight, uh, moon knight thank moon you knight, yeah. i'm like mummy yeah, knight that's not right <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's Laura. Right there. I don't remember what else. What else is he in? Uh, he's in Dune. Oh yeah, he's in Dune. Of course. Yeah, yeah Dune, Dune, Dune trade most of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Spoilers. I just mean he wasn't in every scene, but whatever you want to. No, but yeah. he wasn't. He was yeah. a good bit of it. Yeah. 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 I still haven't watched Dune. So cool. Yeah. Well, the last good thing stuff. that I'll watch. All right. Was welcome. Welcome to Wrexham season three, oh, and that nice. show is one of the is it's such it, it's a it's a show about soccer or football a football club and it's it's so the, the way that they get into people's lives and you learn about the players that's what makes this show special and uh just just the, just ryan reynolds and rob McElhenney, the way they they're the the comedy that they have uh as owners of a a club it's it's incredible I highly recommend this show. I just finished episode eight tonight, which is the finale of season three. So, yeah, I I, I recommend that one as well. Very Sweet cool. Deal. Nice. That's it. All right, Marcus, what you got? All right. So uh, on the Earl side of things, uh, Saturday was pretty chill day. Um, you know, went for a haircut and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and then obviously it was Father's Day weekend. Must have been bad. You were wearing a hat tonight. Yeah. Well. <laughs> 
That's just because I wanted to wear a hat. <laughs> oh, okay, fair. Uh, no, they did not do a bad job. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it was obviously Father's Day weekend. Uh, we spent Father's Day uh, the Saturday before. We spent with Kristen's family, so with her dad and with my brother-in-law. And uh, obviously, did we did the normal stuff with with La Coretta and all that. But uh, that was that was what her dad wanted to do was. Uh, he wanted he wanted Mexican food at La Coretta and he wanted to play uh, Mexican Train. Have you all played Mexican Train before? Yeah, we definitely played that this past weekend. Did you? Good old Mexican Train. Dominoes That's... for those who. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was allowed. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Um... I don't know if there's anything wrong with the name of that, but that's just what they call it. But, um, but uh, yeah, it's like a particular form of dominoes. Um, Barnabé, if you're listening, let us know. Yeah, how, how, if that's appropriate. Yep. Not trying to be racist or anything. But... <laughs> I love that we're making this a Turn thing. Turn into the skit. Listen, okay. <laughs> Not I'm a just going to say this. Now it's a thing. I can't speak on behalf of Barnabé or any mexicans but i know my wife grew up in mexico for four years her family and they all play mexican train and they still call it mexican train so yeah and i have it can't be that bad it's I have, not like i don't know i'm not even going to say it's not like anything else because i'll end up saying something else and then yeah it's <laughs> yeah worse. Insert in mouth. <laughs> exactly I'll check with my mexican art real suddenly quick i feel like sure i'm in a snowball not. and we're going downhill i don't know <laughs> So you uh, played dominoes, did you? Yes, yes. A particular type of dominoes game. Yes. That was that was choo a lot choo. of fun. We've been like all in on this uh, for like the past like month. Every time That's we, worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're. Uh, That's you're arguably right now. worse. <laughs> <laughs> and all our Mexican joiners have just left the building. Such an uh, honor to be here on this. Now, Ben and Base still here. <laughs> But uh, no, we have we've been in all in on this game for like the past like month and a half or or maybe more than that. Uh, pretty much every week we play this game. We played while we were in while we were at the beach. We played pretty much every night. We played that game, and uh, that was what my father in law wanted to play. So we obliged and uh, had a good time with that. Um, and then um, Sunday we spent with my with my side of the family um and had a nice lunch with them and got to catch up with them and everything which was awesome um but i mean it was pretty pretty light uh this past weekend in terms of stuff we did um need to catch up on on some ranger reject did not watch this past sunday's episode um but um uh on the on the ifl side of things um, obviously other than, uh, still moving the needle on Fortnite, uh, keeping that going. Um, but I also decided on, on the advice of someone in the, uh, in the discord community and a good friend of ours, uh, Mr. Isaac Enlin of the, uh, of the, um, infinity, infinity bros. bros. Sorry. I was blanking on the name for a second. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, he happened to mention, uh, Hey, has anybody played, uh, star Wars hunters? which is a, a 4v4 okay. arena shooter, uh, which is only on mobile and yeah. on Nintendo Switch, which tells you how strong the graphics are. Oh, and... yeah. <laughs> oh Tato. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they're very cartoony, um, but you know it's a typical 4v4 arena shooter type thing, and it's got different uh, game types you can play, um, but it's very much on the simple side. Um but they're really easy to jump into. They're like 10, 15 minute games. And, um, you know, the, the controls are really quick to pick up on. Um, the only thing I will say is I absolutely hate trying to play an arena shooter with those joy cons. Not a good idea. Oh yeah. Um, oh. uh, so, uh, I need to try to dig up wherever my pro controller is. I have no idea where that is right now. Uh, I, I just, <laughs> I constantly have my 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 switch in um, handheld mode. Like I rarely ever play it in docked mode. But where could it be? That's a good question. That's like you a have very to dig it up question. from the, in the backyard or something. Like what do you mean? 
I think I, put, I think I put it in like a suitcase somewhere, and a like suitcase. we went on a trip, Keep and I just safe. never t- put it in I, a suitcase. Yeah, and I just Keep never it took secret. it back out because I always have it in. Yeah, keep it secret. Keep it safe. Yeah, because uh, I always just have it in in handheld mode. We we never dock the switch. Um, wow. Yeah. So, um, but I mean, it was it was a fun game. I I enjoy it. It's not like anything revolutionary or anything. Um, Free to play or no? Nah, this looks like this, this looks like a late PS2 game. I'm watching a video right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which I mean, is, which is a Switch game. So I'm just saying. Um, yeah, it's probably better than PS2, but you know, oh, early PS3, PS2, two point five. No, no, it did, yeah, does look PS2 late, and a half. PS2. We'll take it. PS Pi. <laughs> but it's um <laughs> no but i mean it's it's fun to pick up on and uh oh my gosh um but uh no and it's got you know different like uh different class types that are you know different star wars characters and things like that you you've got your wookies and your rodians and your jawas and and things like that uh bounty hunters that you can play as they've got mandalorians in there um and they, and yeah it's free to play um so obviously there's a battle pass and they want you to spend money on it um but it's it's, yeah that's how they get their money yeah yeah. but i mean it's it's a lot of fun and it's really easy to pick up on and especially if you're into shooters uh like like i am so um yeah i i recommend it and uh have Mm -hmm. not Mm -hmm. not jumped back into hellblade 2 yet but probably should do that Give it, give it more of a, of the old. Whatever you want to do, yeah, you know, whenever. Do that or watch X Men Apocalypse. (laughs) (laughs) I will, I will do, and I will not do that at all. Or both at the same time. That sounds like fun. I will definitely not do that. But uh, yeah, and then that's pretty much everything on the Earl and Ifill side of things. On the Eagle side of things, um, just be praying for us, uh, because. Uh, so Kristen is uh, finishing up her um, her degree. She's work, been working on her master's degree in library and information science, uh, and she will be finishing uh, towards mid October. And uh, so that means it's game time for us because right now, Sean, I bet just to catch you up, because she she basically quit her job and went back to school full time. Um, uh, you know, I'm the only one mainly working at the moment um and we live with my my father and mother-in-law at their home uh in their basement while she is doing her degree and uh so uh yeah it's coming up to game time in terms of figuring out where to go from where to go from here um in terms of her getting another job and you know you know something in her field to a bed just in just in case you need somewhere to sleep just that's a bed Yep, that's good to know. That's real good to know. Um, Lumber but, party at Ryan's house, and we're only like two and a half hours away. So we are pretty close. So. Yeah, but you need, uh, you need a nap after that drive. So yep, I mean, true story right there. But um, yeah, we're trying to figure out, you know, whether we need to move closer to our church because we're an hour plus away from from our church, um, and it's it's a lot better to be in that community especially when you're serving in a ministry position like I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, So, and it's just been, and I've been going on eight years serving at this church. Uh, So we would really love to be closer to our church. So, um, you know, do we move closer to the church? Um, You know, do we get something here? Um, You know, we're not, we're not sure. There's a lot of direction that needs to, happen so a lot of factors um so just be just be praying for that because we're not sure where to go at this point we do not have a clear answer but uh Mm -hmm. it is coming up still working on the album still uh trying to get things recorded we're going to be in there friday night doing some recording so that's exciting um but uh just moving the needle on that and uh still in the book of romans and uh man that is yes sir hey i just hit uh it Romans eight today. So oh, man. that's eight. a, that's a meaty chapter for sure. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So cool. I'm a hand it. I'm a hand it to Mr. Isley. Well, howdy. Hey, Hey, 
Howdy, um, hey, indeed. Earl, it's work. It's it's just work. There's there's nothing else. I I live to work at this moment. Aww. Uh but you're acclimated to the new job? Yeah, yeah. Um, not going too bad. Just right now it's since it's hot, it's uh time for ACs to go out. Sean, uh, I don't know if Tell you me know about what AC it. is yeah. because yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you know, Canada, yeah. y'all don't really need those except for those like what a month maybe where you, you get, get a couple you get at least a dozen or so days. Yes, sir. Yeah, where you get a couple of days where it's hot <laughs> and hot as in like 70 yeah, degrees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's 28 uh, degrees Celsius. As I don't I think it, it is. No. <laughs> no. 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 I was like, wow, that's way hotter than no <laughs> I have no idea. That's why I, I never know. venture to make guesses like that because it will always be wrong. A good try. I, think I don't think you're that something. far off, but yeah, not not 70. It's like 32. 28 so 30 degrees is Celsius into the 90 Fahrenheit yeah. 80s. Oh gosh. Well, that's pretty if close. If right? ever got 82, you probably <laughs> 28 is a beautiful in, day. Uh, that's a beautiful day. Yeah, 28 is <laughs> is nice. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Um no, 80, 82 degrees here in Cincinnati in 80% humidity. It's like walking into a mouth. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was this morning. It was 81% yeah. humidity this morning. Everywhere I go, and wet it weather. It felt like just <laughs> yeah. yeah, weather something. Yeah, it was it was horrible. Um walking into it's we hit, be, we hit yeah, 90 yeah, today. We did hit 90. I hit yeah. I think we hit 92. Yep. Or something like that. Yeah. Um, so not great working outside. Um, it's never great, but especially in the summer, but things got to get still get done. Um, they do. It's just AC season. It's, it's just the season it is. These ACs are old, so I get to be the one to fix them. Um, oh, I guess IRL, but uh, geez, this is like three weeks ago, like about a month ago. I forgot. We have a pool now, so um, what? We, oh, what? So the kids have just been going out into the pool after they get home from school, and that's a development. Just swim. It's just more work for me though, because I'm the one that has to balance the pool. Kid. Pool boy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Pool boy. Um. So yeah, if you ever feel like coming and taking a dip, just come on over. Um. It's a small pool. It's just like the little. You can come over to our team. house. We have a pool. You got a pool? You yeah, a pool? you don't have to maintain this one. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, Ifl has more so just been like when I can watch shows, and it's mostly just been anime, particularly Go Go Loser Ranger. You need to catch up, Mark. Yep. I'm only one episode it's, behind now. I just I'm just missing the episode this week was uh it's yeah still still firing on all cylinders. Something. Yeah, man. It's, Wait a it's, second. Yeah. Wait a second. Go go loser <laughs> loser ranger is an anime. I thought that was live action. Nope. Wow. No. Patrick's nope. not been no. paying attention. It is, Patrick. It is an, it anime. an anime. It's a power. Why what are the pictures anime. that you're sending about this toilet guy? Oh, that's that's, that's, uh, that's, well, no. that's weird boom, 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 he cannot you know what go I mean? there. Yeah, like, <laughs> but I don't know, like, the middle name of the actors who play all these. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not there, you know? Okay, so just to explain, unpack, if you will. Um, so we've got two different shows we're talking about here. The the one they're making fun of. Uh, so Power just Rangers, uh, <laughs> the one they're making fun Who's of. making is fun based, of it? It makes fun of, of you. itself. I just all of you the except name, for the Boom Boom Get. Isn't that the name of it? It is. Yeah. It's called Boom Boom Jer. So okay. that's all I said. So Power Rangers was based on a Japanese television show that goes all the way back to the 70s. Of course. And they basically stole Japanese footage of them in the suits. Yep. And and <laughs> dubbed over it and then created American footage and saved a bunch of money that way and created Power Rangers. My favorite story to tell. Yeah. 
I love that that's real. <laughs> and so I'm not joking. That's the coolest thing ever. And because you didn't know as a stupid kid, you didn't know that that's, oh, but it's yeah, obvious. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like the so suits are like an, slim and slender, adult, like, like clearly yeah, athletic right. Japanese men, <laughs> yeah. you know, and women. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, Jason, the Red Power Ranger, goes and sets a record like bench pressing. It's like, this guy's jacked. That's not the same person. <laughs> not at all. The, no, and, like, good for them. They at, got away with it. And if you look at like Rita Repulsa and stuff like that, like, and you look at her talking. Absolutely her, dubbed over. Yeah, oh, absolutely yeah. dubbed over. Amazing. Um, and then there's like one episode where if you're paying really close attention, um, there's a Megazord fight, and there's definitely a little, a little kid, there's a little, little Japanese boy <laughs> in the background. No way! <laughs> really? I got it. Random I Japanese that. boy. So you can you can YouTube it. It's like you'll you'll find it almost immediately. Oh, that's it's so good. Little Japanese. He's just standing there like playing with like one of the props, like the building. Come on. Are you serious? I don't remember that. I that's swear that somebody comes and snatches yeah. him off. Yeah, I love right. it. I love gaffes like that in shows and, and in TV, like the Stormtrooper <laughs> bopping his head in Star Wars. Um, yep. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you guys know this one? In yeah, the where first you see, movie? Like, the inside of the... Yeah. In the mouth. Yeah, yep. like there's a face in the mouth. It is Whoa, horrifying. I either. It Yikes. is so good. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can Google those really quickly and you owe it to yourself. Like yep. if you've seen those movies, <laughs> it's a full Patrick face. It. So, in, yeah. yeah. All that to say... All that to say, so the Japanese show that Power Rangers is based on is still going on today. Oh, wow. Yeah. And their most recent iteration, it's another car themed show, a version of They just Power recycle Rangers. the same. They just, like, between the dinosaurs same. and cars, like they just, they recycle that. But so that's their and most space. recent iteration. And <laughs> they like, to, the bad guys like to take. In an, um, inanimate objects in the environment and just turn them into monsters and so one of them was a toilet at a public restroom so amazing yeah, yeah. Then it was fantastic i need you uh, to send him the picture mark <laughs> yeah <laughs> i will man if i could if i can quickly uh it was so bad <laughs> um so <laughs> Let me see if I can do this on the fly. Yeah. Um, oh, there the other show little... that we're talking about is an anime, and it's called yes. Go Go Loser Ranger or Ranger Reject Overseas, um, which is also still based on, like, it's not completely Power Rangers, but you watch one episode, they're the colors of the Power Rangers. They're clearly supposed to be the Power Rangers. Um, but it's also, have you ever watched The Boys? Sean, I haven't. It's on my list, but man, I always feel left out when you guys bring it up. Okay, so it's like kind of that vibe where the superheroes aren't so super, right? And they are very flawed individuals, and that's pretty much the premise of this. Like the that. Rangers in here are called like the Dragon Keepers or whatever. They're not all right in the head, any of them. Um, so they do some twisted things. Um, but the story mainly focuses on a monster, like a little, basically like one of the pawns. And he's trying to take down the rangers from the inside of their, uh, like, organization. So he can, like, shapeshift, basically. And he turns himself into, like, one of the candidates. And he's, like, going through all their training and stuff because he wants to basically just take them down from the inside. But it's uh, it it's got it's got so much more depth than I thought it would for like yeah, it's legit. It's, it's, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's really good. Like, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, your toilet monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Look at the teeth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And and it and its power, its special power is it spits out toilet water, which makes you lose your inhibitions. And <laughs> like, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> Because Japanese kids television. Oh man, we are missing out over here. What do we got over here? We got yeah, Bluey. Yeah, we got Bluey. And Papa it's not even like it's, <laughs> it's not even ours. We we stole that I from know. Australia. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, but it's amazing. Uh, but yeah, I think we shared in the Commonwealth. But I don't know what you guys did. I mean, you know what you did. Uh, yeah, we, we did. We definitely you made know. your choice. We fought for yep. freedom. <laughs> <laughs> 
but uh, uh sorry all that to say go ahead ryan continue with your updates yeah <laughs> well it's basically just been that i have played and beat the second to last mission of the final shape campaign uh for destiny 2 so i am uh -huh. one mission away from being free <laughs> yeah basically i doubt being it you're free. gonna you're gonna continue with it um no i don't think i am i still think i'm i'm gonna take at least i have to take at least one a week year break <laughs> no it's got to be a year it a has year? to be a year for right. me. yeah um that being said that's like a year of me not buying it because now my children want to play with me all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, no. Look what so, you've done. I can I, relate. I'm a, I will still play with them. I just, I'm just i not going to buy anything for a little while. Um, it's been a great 10 years. I didn't think I would actually like this campaign that much after the past one. Um, it's a, It's been a really good campaign. Like, pretty solid. I wouldn't say it's I would say the best campaign that's come out was the Taken King that was like back in Destiny 1. Um this one is probably like in between that one and the Witch Queen which came out like a couple of years ago. There it's it's really good. It wraps up the the light dark saga pretty good. I still haven't got to see like all the extra cutscenes that are after it because I haven't beat the last mission yet. Um, but I'm gonna try to do that this weekend if I can get some free time. Now, is the last mission but, the raid, or is that different? So, the last mission that you well, the second to last mission that you play, like the one that I did, I can't remember the name of it. Um, it doesn't matter. I, we won't remember. You basically, anything. like, you basically like weaken the the big boss that you're fighting, which is the witness. And then what's supposed to happen directly after that is that's when the raid came out. So you're supposed to like do the raid for like full story context, um, and then you don't actually kill him in the raid. There's another mission afterwards, which is the mission that I have yet to do. Uh, I do want to do the raid, but I have to power grind, and I just haven't had time. We've mm -hmm. just been out doing things as family and stuff. Uh, so I've not really like power grinded or anything. Um, I'll still end up doing the raid just because I've done all the other raids. I might as well do this one too. Um, but I'm I'm looking forward to seeing like how it ends fully and all the cutscenes and everything, how they tie it all together. Um, but it's been fun. Uh, the new subclass, well, new subclass that they brought in is pretty fun. It's basically just you mix, you get to mix and match all of the other subclasses together, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually incredibly fun and incredibly overpowered. They're going to have to nerf it at some point. <laughs> Uh, because just some of the stuff that you can do is ridiculous. Um, and real quick, am I the only one that when people talk about nerfing something, they think of the original dark guns and like oh, toys? No. When you're I mean, no, that's what, Absolutely yeah, not. no, I do too. And I never <laughs> actually remember what it means to nerf or buff, I think is that, the opposite, it's, right? It's, it means exactly that. You, or is it you the take same something thing? that's super overpowered. I mean, it sounds to me like, like you make yeah, it better if you, you nerf it. Cheap, like you nerf it. You're like tossing suction cup bullets at the bad guys. and just Yeah, going. which is going to do works. less damage, which is what oh, they're, they're doing. Yeah. Okay, That's now I follow, the, I follow the logic. You're thinking correctly. Now. Yes, you That's are. where <laughs> it came from. They're turning everything into nerf guns, and those are yep. weak against mm -hmm. bad guys. I mean, they need to... Some of these abilities, like if you played Warlock, there's like a way that you can basically loop uh, stasis turrets, which continually slow people. I'll take your word with, for it. Uh, like your arc grenade or arc soul buddy that constantly is shooting people. You can have 100% uptime like all the time. So you're freezing and jolting and sending like shock lightning through everything at all times. Sounds that was nonstop. That was, my, that was my class when I played Destiny One. I was a warlock. Oh yeah, 
And that's I, about I all I remember Titan. about it. Yeah. Titan is my, I just like to punch stuff. That's the punch class. I like there to you punch. Go. <laughs> I like Sean, to punch you're, things. You're nodding your head. Are you a fellow Titan as well? <laughs> Uh, I, I was just going to say, it's amazing that Mark remembered what he was in Destiny 1 because I have played Destiny 2 fairly recently. And I have no idea. Warlock, Same. maybe? <laughs> a, I have yeah. no clue. I don't I'm know what's John. going on. <laughs> I usually always play the magic the magic person in those times. Yeah, yeah. Warlock is Pretty sure I had like, some sort of cape, like, maybe? Yeah. yeah. Oh, if you have a cape, you're a hunter. It means maybe. you're the agile one. Do you, <laughs> you jump work for it. Do you jump yeah. once and then jump again in the air? Yes. Yes, I do You're that. A okay. <laughs> okay. There's also like a spider thing happening last I played. There's like a spider guy I go to visit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> the Witch old. Queen, wow. the Witch Queen I think was the last one that I that I played. Wow. And apparently oh, that man. was the Witch good Queen one. was good. Witch Queen yeah. was a great campaign. Yeah, By the I way, don't know what's um, going on in Destiny? How does anybody yeah. know? Did, Ryan they, knows. They made the story very bad. Pepper uh, Farmer. <laughs> But it's uh, fun. I, I used to keep up with the lore and all the grimoire and all the like in game stuff. It just became too much. Hey, let me tell you at one point, Chris Kerwin, our other Canadian friend, uh, he convinced me to play. He, <laughs> <laughs> he convinced us to play, uh, I think it was the Witch Queen, maybe. Uh, now I don't remember. But, anyways, he convinced us to play. He convinced me to play. And so I was like, well, I want to know all the lore leading up to. And I tell you what, I spent like an hour and a half watching these highlight videos and reading all this stuff and i'm like what am i doing with my life i'm not gonna remember <laughs> any of this instead. i'm not gonna so, remember any of this and I, don't, enough, I don't remember anything the guy that does most of the lore for destiny uh his name is on youtube his name is my name is bife uh right before this campaign came out or this expansion came out because it's been 10 years of destiny he put together a 10-hour video chronicling the start of destiny up to where we are now. That is a documentary right there. For the next uh, 10 hours, we are going yeah, to take you through a journey. That's a documentary. That's too. how he sounds, actually. Yeah. Too. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. But his wow. he's so thorough with all of his stuff. Like, that's who I used to watch all my lore videos from. So I was like, know what the heck was going on because after a while, I was just like, yeah, I just want to shoot and punch stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm going to just go do that now. <laughs> so I want to take a quick second just to go back for a moment because uh, uh, Pat send, sent this to us in the uh, in the WhatsApp just oh, to go oh, back. Yes. So here you go. Oh, I look you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, and you have to watch this in the context of it because it's like it's so quick. It's like a, a five second shot. <laughs> And like all of a sudden, you just see this random kid just chilling out there. Who is the? What is that gnome? He's like a Rumpelstiltskin kind of guy. This is the bad uh, guy that okay. they're fighting. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense because yeah. Power Rangers. The little kid. He was something. like he was like the mechanic. He was the yep the Power Ranger mechanic. He's like Let I'm me pretty sure if this you rotary keep watching, here. Patrick, did you watch that whole clip? Yeah. Then the little kid just get like snatched by somebody. Like he looks up and then he just gets snatched. By no, him. that was the that was that scene right there. I mean, it was pretty it was pretty quick, uh, but I didn't see him again. Other than I that, swear there point. was a. There's so many things like that in Power Rangers. Like some of the movies and stuff have been like, what was it? It was one of the Power Rangers in space movies. They did like this big stance after they made like after they killed one of the. Uh, God, what was it? The Psycho Rangers. Do you remember that, Mark? Yeah, I do yeah. Like the the they they turned and like did a pose, and then the explosion happens behind them, and their bodies like straight up shift completely <laughs> like ninety degrees, and they're like like they weren't good in the frame, I guess, and they just like suddenly just like boom, and then they're like this, and it's like, it's like one of the most hilarious things. Yeah. <laughs> like I love watching. I that. think I think my favorite thing from Power Rangers that I always remember is it's the it's the evil green ranger saga and yep. uh that's early on too yeah and yeah. uh and, and there's a scene where uh jason is like fighting they're in the megazord and and tommy is on top tommy of jumps the up there he's on right? top of the dragon zord <laughs> and and jason goes give it up tommy and all of a sudden you hear Tommy's response, and it's definitely not Jason David Frank. It's not his voice, and he literally goes, "No way!" 
<laughs> and and it's, and it's oh, obviously, show is so jank, man. Yeah, I love obviously, it. this random action figure that's on top of of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's just so so they're stationary. Like, yeah. <laughs> Super glued the feet on top of the Megazord yeah. for the, <laughs> the live action performance. They, they, I hope they they if they remake Power Rangers, they have to throw that kind of stuff in there because oh, that so that's good. just what it made it so great because it was just because well, it was so do, like bad. all the Megazord battles twelve and stuff dollars to make it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and I don't need a big budget Power Rangers show. They just borrowed their neighbor's stuff. Yeah, I would made it. Heal for one of those Megazord, like <laughs> just to have one of those Megazord. Oh, it's the coolest costumes for Halloween. Yes. I would absolutely love that. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh my God. You probably funny. make one. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, oh, that one, God. that would, that would be the one that I would want. Oh yeah. I've looked into getting one of those costumes. They're, they're not they're, cheap. No, but they're not. I'm an adult. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> You got a job. Because I I looked also into that, and then I was like also looking for like Master Chief, at, like when it was like I guess yeah. right when Halo Three, like the height height of Halo, right? And like I was like, how much would one of these suits just cost? Well, just just out of the and I like Google searched it or found it on eBay, and it was like three grand, and I was like, yeah, never mind. And, and I'm just... out. <laughs> <laughs> More than they spent on the show. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely more than they spend on the show on Paramount. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, that pretty much covers everything that's going on right now. God Life, just going through the through the word with you guys. Uh, yeah. I did start a couple of other Bible plans. Um, just uh, I was going through Corinthians. I think I'm on the last one for that mm -hmm. for First Corinthians. Um, and then I started one the other day from Bible Project, uh, the Upside Down Kingdom. I thought that they put out their Sermon on the Mount one, but maybe that was just a video. Uh, they put out a bunch of Sermon on the Mount stuff. You just got to go to their. The easiest way to find it is to go to their app, the Bible go Project to their app. app. Yeah, yeah, and they have they have playlists since January one. They've been they've been slowly going through, but they have like six bigger videos that cover chunks of the. Of the Sermon on the Mount, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, I want I wanted to watch the Sermon on the Mount thing, so I thought it was going to be like on the U version app, like the Bible app. So I could oh no, do a plan not, with it. But not yeah, yet. it's not on there. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to do the, the whole shred. Bible. Yeah, the the 30 day shred again, because um, I wanted to start it. I wanted to start it this month, but that didn't happen. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe start it in either july or august um i do definitely want to do it again um sean the 30 day shred is going through the bible in 30 days i was gonna say you still have time yeah i know i know Cram I it in there yeah <laughs> like, i yeah, started that's how i started off the year uh i did that in january and it was just i was just cool just going through the bible in 30 days like because you very quickly that's see fast. like the pattern of man is basically like mm. God gives us something great. We screw it up. We ask for forgiveness. He forgives us. We screw it up again. <laughs> like it's just back to back. At some point I'd be like, okay, no, I'm not giving you guys any more things. <laughs> like, it's funny. Cause I was just reading from numbers and it's when the Israelites get to the promised land and they're like, no, there's these people are way too big. Mm -hmm. We can't take them. Yep. And God's like, all right, we'll find you're going to wander around the desert for 40 years. And, and we're they're like, like, just, we're like, Oh, just we're just kidding. We're, we're, going, we're going to go we're find going. them right now. We're going to go. We're going to go. And then they get their, <laughs> they get their butts kicked. And then <laughs> it's like, yeah, nope. God's like, I told you don't go. I'm not there. Yeah. You missed your window. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just, we're so dumb. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, we are. So dumb. <laughs> like, thank you for your grace, Lord. That's all I got to Amen. say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for me. All right. Lucas? Well, on my front, uh, the life front, the fake front and the God front, uh, I'm going to start with fake life. I actually have an update. Um, with the fake life and it's all because gaming. of my kids uh so we just got into yeah, right. vacation this past friday 
And leading up to that, and then this week, um, a lot of the different things I've been doing in life have just revolved around family, kids, family, doing stuff together. And a couple weeks ago, the kids both were like, we want to start playing Dead Cells. And I'm like, well, there's no way they said that. Let me help you out with that. <laughs> they did. Because, brother, you got you to gotta hear me out. At, at least once a month, my kids go, when can we play Hades? When can we play Dead Cells? When can we play... There's been a couple others, like games that I've sunk hundreds of hours in. For some reason, they just, they saw me play it and they saw the joy on my face from playing it. And they were like, we want that joy too. And so they wanted to Whenever play Destiny. They want to play Destiny too. Yeah, Don't no, we're not going there. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know when they're ready. Uh, but yeah, so they started playing it and uh, something, uh, some fire lit under my son. Uh, he is 12, I think, 11. Maybe 11 going on 12. You think? I think. I just, I don't know. Uh, he's he's somewhere around there, 11, 12. He he's just finished eight. He just finished fifth grade. So, well. yeah. No, he's actually. I, I think, think he's, his he's name's 11. James. I'm not sure. I think his name's James. Know. He's born in 2012. Yeah, so he's 11. He's, he's going to turn 12 son? in October. Um. Oh, so, yeah. He'd probably tell you if he let him talk every once in a while so I'm telling you, be quiet. It's time to be quiet. That was good. It's time oh to be quiet. man. Dad, <laughs> dad, 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 can, I t- can I tell you something? Today, no, my birthday birth. today's time to be quiet. No, be my quiet. birthday. <laughs> Shut up, you little nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so, he he really got into it and he I think it took him like I want to say six or seven runs and he got to the final boss and he beat him uh, like within less than a dozen runs. Like that's awesome, he, man. He, he didn't lose. He didn't lose to a boss once. He would only lose in like the general areas. I'm uh, sure you were the coach. I right, mean, right next to him. Yeah. I, I gave him some, yeah. some tips, some pointers. I mean, but you're what's a pro. Funny, <laughs> what's funny is once he did that, he was like, oh, I'm going, I want to play the real boss, dad, because I know about the real boss that you played on the fifth hard, like the fifth level difficulty. He he beat the zero level difficulty. So he has to go through the first level, the second, third, fourth, and to the fifth. And uh, I was like, all right, man, well, get to the next area. And he started in the next area, and he's like, oh, yeah, I remember these guys from where you used to fight them, so they're not too bad. And he's just, he's just going. He's got some fundamentals that he's got to work on, but he has been pretty pretty impressive dude so, how proud are you right now <laughs> oh it's super proud super proud it's been uh it's been really magical like there's just been moments where i'm like oh okay you got you got some he's got some reflex i don't know like you just there's an element of you have to it's a really twitch a twitchy kind of game like not twitch mm. as in streaming but you got to have that that quick dodging and yeah shielding you can up. give tips all you want man but like yeah still doing if, the thing if his fingers don't have it your fingers don't have it but his fingers oh, they do. don't have it so he's he's rocking it and uh now he he has hit a little bit of a wall he's discovered that in the next difficulty level he's got to get some of the basics down uh he's still not good at multitasking i'm trying to teach him the art of like it's almost like when you play you have like triangle square and then two of the trigger buttons and you almost have to do like a wave like when you're yeah. in groups of enemies so that you utilize all your weapons. If you just go around like jamming the sword and that's it, I'm like, dude, you're going to die. You have to throw whatever your passive damage is. Then you use your major damage while you're also using your turrets and your skills. And so we've got to refine that in the next area that he's in of it. But he's got it. He's got the, he's got the natural finesse, as it were. Mm. So with watching them play Dead Cells, uh, that also lit a little bit of a... It got my taste buds going, a little scratch, a little itch, and I'm like, mm, "I think it's I need cream. to play. I need to play a little bit." <laughs> I <laughs> so, got a fever. I got a well, fever. Yep. And so I played this last week, and uh, it was great. It was like riding bike. Um, I definitely got deeper into the Dracula DLC. Any Castlevania fans in the house? Anyone? Yes. The anime. Like a little bit. The anime. Nintendo original. No, those games are hard, dude. Yep, those those games, games are hard. Very hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, trust me, the DLC in this is just as hard. And oh, I, I got to the boss, and one Dracula is of course twenty feet tall, and your character is just like five feet tall. So you're like a little pipsqueak, 
And uh, he also has spoilers. He's got, if you don't want to know spoilers for the Castlevania DLC, skip ahead a minute. Uh, he's got two phases. And I wasted all my stuff on the first phase just to survive. And then he I turns into faces. a... You killed this face, <laughs> but not this yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, watch this trick. The mean face yeah. coming out. I'm like, two face. Phases. Flip Army, a coin. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> if the bat wants to play, <laughs> we'll play. He's flipping a coin out there <laughs> yep. on you. Yep. Dracula oh, two man. face. But uh, uh no Dead two Skulls had a Batman crossover. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Shut up time. Let's go. Um, but yeah, so DLC is fantastic. And uh, the whole game is, it's been great to get back into it. And uh, yeah, so Dead Cells is the game I'm playing right now. Kind of with my kids, kind of not. We also broke out Guacamelee 2. If you guys have nice. played any of the Guacamelee games. Uh, so good. Um. Do you the other thing think we that what you will get Hades too? I probably, I probably will. I don't see how I can because <laughs> I on. mean, like I know Dead you. Cells is like you know you. second or third. <laughs> yeah, is like Dead Cells is like my second or third favorite game of all time, and like going back to it is just like now I'm being very measured in my gaming. Uh, today was where I cut loose and I played for like a couple hours, but. uh I've I haven't I haven't played this game in a year. I haven't played video games on my own by myself for the past six months. So I am making sure it does not eclipse real life god life, um, right? Because I very much am still very aware that when I was gaming before, it was imbalanced and it was not healthy. And so I'm going to keep it healthy, keep it uh, keep it real. I I want to be moderated to safe. If I'm like thinking about it all the time i'm stepping back and be like no no this is not taking over my life um i don't want to go down that path again so yeah. i'm i'm kind of treating vacation since we're off school for like th five weeks or so i'm just treating as this is like break time once you get back into school i don't think I'd, i'll be able to balance it except maybe on saturdays but even then it's not very likely but um so it's been fun it's been good and i've been responsible with it i've been paying first doing all the things I need to do throughout the day and then playing later. So that's the motto I try to live by. Responsible. Yeah. Um, the family also watched Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and I relived PTSD childhood. Um, <laughs> oh, um, num shivai. Um, num shivai. <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i totally forgot about the guy getting pancaked in the the, the rolling rock cylinder crusher oh, yeah. or whatever like totally forgot about that the voodoo doll like stabbing the voodoo doll over and over again oh man what a classic movie but oh yeah, yeah. i forgot to mention uh i had my kids watch twister oh nice another classic a fine they, uh, uh, oh, did, did i mention that I watched Deadpool with my daughter. Yeah. You did? Yes, you did. Okay. Did you? All right. Okay. okay. All right. We don't need to relive that. All right. No. <laughs> How? You and your <laughs> Twister and Temple of Doom. I'm over here with yeah. Deadpool. <laughs> yeah. That's PTSD well, Grayson, right there. Well, Grayson was terrified that night when he went to bed. He was like, I'm scared of tornado. I was like, bro, that took place in Tornado Alley. And then I was like, hey, Google, tell me how many tornadoes happened in a year in Tornado Alley. And I was like, 400. I was like, now tell me how many tornadoes happen normally in a year in North Carolina. 30. I was like, you're good, dude. You're not going to get that. What about hurricanes? Wow. <laughs> no, not hurricanes either. No hurricanes? You're good? No. Yeah. Who Barely, lives in a place yeah. called Tornado Alley, by the way? <laughs> That's what we've been saying for a long time. Go somewhere else. Yeah, ask Tim Pollan. I believe he lives in that alley. He sure does. Him. He does. Yeah. Live in alley. What are he you does. doing? Living That's in the tornado hood. That's why he likes to travel because he gets out of it. Yeah, he gets <laughs> he out of there. Every force of the year. Oh man. That's terrifying. Uh other than that, real life, like I said, everybody's on vacation. Uh both my kids won the art award for their grades, so that was cool. Uh the to congrats to them on winning their art award. And then James got the MVP outstanding award uh for his grade. So 
Nice. It, it did help Very that nice. during the talent show, he did some magic tricks with cards. So he was quite the performer. Mm. And uh, yeah. So that was real life. Not much else has been going on. And then in God life, just like you guys have been saying, going through Romans with the guys. Uh, I've been loving Psalms. Like just finding that I read through Psalms and really have been relating to uh, not just the like praise the Lord parts, but the there's there's different aspects of work and life that not so much I've been experiencing, but friends have been experiencing that I feel like I can read it and then I can pass it on to them and say, you need to read this and realize God got God's got your back and he knows exactly what you're going through, that there are other people that have been facing struggles. So I really, uh, I don't know how, how often y'all read the Psalms, but man, there are some prayers in there that are real. Like, and some of them get like really crazy, like God, you know, I want to punch the teeth out of the, my enemy's mouths and <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> but that's, you know, you feel like that sometimes, like you get angry at people or get upset with someone. Jesus um, flipped tables. He did. Okay. He flipped them tables. Right, he didn't angry. fool around. Have we <laughs> yeah. talked about, so have we talked about somebody put in an AI thing of like, like a recreation of Jesus flipping, flipping over. They, they put in specifically flip Jesus flipping over tables and the, the AI thing came out for the literal Isn't thing him of doing him a back, flip. doing like a backflip. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> over the table. He's flipping over a table. Jesus, Circus Dole. Jesus, Circus, Jesus, Circus, Jesus. That's not it. You know this episode is going to be called Circus Jesus now. Jesus flipping over the table. No, you don't have to worry about the, this podcast being smited, but you know. Oh. This episode will not air. The Lord will not allow it. Suddenly, we lost the whole out. feed. Yeah. Where to go? At least we're not going to call it Hi Yahweh or something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that would be too far. Hi Yahweh. Hi Yahweh. Hi Yahweh. Well, now we have to call it that. Now, now we do have to call it that. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell all that stuff. <laughs> Good. Good. It's better that way. <laughs> Phonetically. Hi. Yeah. Wait. I guess this is just something that you ask for forgiveness like later. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> That's what for Ryan sure. was saying earlier. Yeah. For sure. Just, 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 there's uh, there's grace. There's grace yeah. in that. <laughs> say a quick prayer tonight and be like, Lord, look, we know you got a sense of humor. Lord, I apologize. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If one of us has a nightmare about like Ninja Jesus, then he's like, I heard what you said about me, fool. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, sweat. Jesus, don't hit me. He's like oh, flipping all around. Your you. arm's asleep. <laughs> <He's Yeah. crying. laughs> Ninja Jesus. You just want to just want to hug Jesus, and he's like, Wah! I don't think yeah. that's allowed. No, it's <laughs> the pastor is saying it. <laughs> what do I do? Just let him. Jesus definitely has a sense oh. of humor. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> With that, that concludes God life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Jesus. Oh, man. No, but seriously, I'm loving one of my favorite things to do during break is just I wake up in the morning, get coffee, and just read the Bible, pray. And uh, just rest. And it's awesome. Rest in him. No high yang No ninja. Nothing. It's serious stuff. I just, I just sent them the picture. That's the uh -oh. graphic. That's the graphic from the yep. episode. All right. With that, Sean, give us oh. your Earl, Iffel, and Iggle, please. Can I have a moment to think about it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just another, I don't know, 73 minutes or so. That'd be great. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you got it, man. <laughs> we had yeah, to demonstrate it. We had to live it out. Second first. period yet, or oh, still man. first period? Second period, three nothing Oilers. You got Ooh. it. There is a chance. Put your hands oh. on your head, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it happened a you like, yeah, like, yeah. But you were you were busy talking about. I can't remember what iteration of Jesus it was. But... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to one interrupt. Of, it was one of the ones we're going to get smited for. So it's all good. exactly yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, life of Earl. Um, man, Father's Day happened over the weekend, um, which was lovely. Uh, my wife, it was so funny. Um, her name is Chelsea. Uh, we've been married for about 10 years now, which is kind of nice. You know, we celebrated 10 year anniversary uh, earlier this year. And, Sweet. you know, like we're at the stage where like we just 
for for birthdays and for these kinds of days, you kind of go like, what do you want to do? And she asked me this uh, sometime last week. And I'm thinking like, what a question. What do I want to do? Like you can like I could do whatever I want. What do I want to do? And I really like thought long and hard about it. But um, Lucas, uh, I feel like you and I share a kinship here. Um, I've been running a ton. Uh, yeah. But when I, I run in kilometers, I think I think we're similar in this yeah, front. I run so in both, both running in kilometers. You run both. Yeah. Okay. I'm You're trying bilingual. to be helpful. Yeah. I'm exactly. bilingual I'm trying runner. to be helpful to my American <laughs> friends, my non-metric yes. friends. Just be like, oh yeah, I ran 3.2 miles today. Amazing. Really, yeah. it's a 5K. But Just over okay. 5K. We're not, yeah. Yeah. Very impressive. Well, so it's strange that I like I could have done anything and I chose to go for a like a a long run. Just really, yeah? really, How really far push you go? it. Uh, I went, I didn't, I don't have miles ready for you guys. I went 26 kilometers. Did you? Jesus. Nice. So that's, that's a, that's a marathon, right? No. Not, uh, marathon's, marathon's 42. 42. Half is 21. So yeah. I'm, I'm marathon's... training for a marathon. I'm, I'm going to okay. do one in, uh, in August. So I want to awesome. get comfortable doing that again. I, yeah, yeah. I did one last year, but it's like, man, it's hard. Like, I know like that comes as a surprise to most people, but like everything hurts. And so yeah. went out for yeah. a very long run. Um, and I, I do this thing where I run as far away from home as possible because then I got to I got to get back. Like, I because yeah. otherwise, if I'm close to home, I'll just like shortcut it back. But I, I run you ran far away Hortons, and then you turned around. And That's right. Ran. Yeah. Or a, or a Canadian McDonald's that has <laughs> <stationed> <laughs> me tonight. Yes. Yeah. No, it's it's been nice, man. It's just like good to be out in. And like I love being outdoors. We don't get a we get a couple of weeks where we're allowed to go outside. Otherwise, we gotta get back into our igloos up here mm-hmm. and make sure we're back out trading keep warm. Pelts and whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it's it's good to have a little bit of a little bit of freedom in Canada. So when you just a little real bit. quick to get a tip when you go running, do you take like a uh, Camelback with maple syrup in it and you just <laughs> that, actually <laughs> I hadn't through. thought of that. Yeah, I should. That'd be awesome. <laughs> it's a little, no, no. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> that was a mistake. I actually didn't bring any hydration, which uh, really, yeah, wow. probably probably What's wasn't smart you? to be honest. You like, <laughs> were you scraping the sweat off your body and drinking oh that? God, just like yeah, don't waste your moisture. Just a dune. exactly <laughs> wear like a dune outfit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. with a little straw. Oh my, yeah, coming out of my nose. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gross. You sound, uh, you sound Al-Gaib. Oh, that's me. That's me. <laughs> yep. Oh, the Florida Panthers scored right in the middle of my day. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. You got to give, gotta give me. It's a gimme. That's okay. It's a gimme. Yeah, I just got to. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so I had a really, awesome, a really good run. Just one of those like confidence building ones. But like in the middle of it, um, this is so, I don't know. Maybe this is cliche. I'm not sure. But in the middle of it, I had nothing but doubt. I, I felt good at the mm. start. And there hits yeah. a point, And this is the journey of running for me. Um, is that even though I've ran that distance before, I know I'm capable of it. Like my mind is just telling me, stop, call Chelsea, like get a ride home. Like you're yeah. like, it's, it's too hard. It's too far. My feet hurt, like all get out. And it happens every time, every time I, I push for a, a distance or a speed or anything like that. And, and even way beyond running as well. Like anytime I'm trying for something challenging, there's something in my mind that goes, yeah, no, you can't, you can't do this. Mm. Um, you should, you know, rest or, or something. Walk. And, and it's this weird thing with running that has been, even the fact that I went out for the run, even though I could have, um, sat down here and played video games for four or five hours, um, taking the choice to go out and do that. Number one was a, was a win. And I, I'm telling you guys, like, I wish I had this sort of like, mental approach to stuff when i was actually in shape when i was 20 years old and didn't really have to think about going for a run or playing soccer or being active or anything um there's so much intentionality that comes now that i'm approaching 40 uh but it's just chock full of lessons man like just that you are capable of so much more than even you think um Mm -hmm. and it's all a test you know um you know, Earlier this year, I messaged Mark because I know when you um, when you're struggling with your voice, man, I was like I was kind of going with it, going through it with with running because um, I had rediscovered it last year, was really happy to be just moving again after COVID. I stayed in my basement for basically three years um, and I had to get moving because I just was piling on weight and I felt depressed and anxious and um, it wasn't good. Not moving is not good for me as I'm 
after yeah. it's come to a big surprise to you guys. Like I'm a I'm an animated person, so you lock me up in a room and it's not good for me. Nope. So rediscovering running was a was mm. a major like hurdle to conquer last year. It meant the world to me to to have that back in my life. And then uh, in whatever it was, September, October, um, I had this foot injury that seemed to come out of nowhere and they didn't know uh, what it was. Turns out, long story short, it turned out to be gout. And oh, it sucks. Yeah. Gout sucks, dude. It is awful. Hmm. My foot got so swollen, I couldn't stay. It felt like the skin was going to like rip apart if I put weight on it. It was absolutely Ooh, horrible. And it jumped from one foot to the other. Yeesh. So... I didn't it know was, that's how that worked. Apparently, yeah. like it, it kind of uh, solved uh, itself. Like after... you stopped, you stepped on one foot, and then it. Just oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not explaining very good. No, no. So I had it in the left foot. Um, I think it was the left foot first, and it was there for months. I couldn't walk. I had a one of those um, like, like foam boots cast. or air boots. Yeah, had a, yeah, air cast yeah. kind of thing. Because they thought it was a stress fracture. Because I said I'd been running all this, all this bunch, and they said, well. A stress fracture isn't going to show up on an x-ray, so it's probably what it is. So put you in this air boot and take it easy, and you'll be right as rain as a couple, in a couple weeks. And, like, more than a month went by, and I'm still in agonizing pain. Uh, I had my – I couldn't sleep. Uh, I had my foot elevated. I did all the things, like icing it. I would sleep with, like, a stack of – like, almost like a Jenga tower of pillows <laughs> in my bed just to keep my, my foot up as high as I could. And the pain wouldn't go away. Um, I ended up getting a – like a steroid shot, like a cortisol shot in the mm -hmm. joint of my big toe. Uh, and that seemed to clear it up, which was, which was good. And I felt, felt fine after a couple of weeks, went out for a run and that was great. And I was like, Oh, thank God that's over. And then in January, it showed up again in the other foot. That's what I meant when it, that's when crazy. it jumped from one foot that's to wild. the other. No, I was joking when I said that. It popped oh, up. but it like <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. I and I was just like, Oh, so it's a test. Like it's really the yeah. thing. And I was saying to, to Mark, I'm like, you know, this, this, for me, um, I was, I'm really, I'm really proud of you guys for creating the show that you have, that you have Earl, Iggle and Iffel all mixed together. Um, and for me, like, I'm not a, I'm not a practicing Catholic. I was baptized. I went through confirmation and, uh, first communion and everything, but I haven't, um, I haven't been practicing in a while, but that was one example. And there's been many over the last couple of months where I'm like, Golly, man, I gotta maybe get back in touch with this because there's yeah. there's something here. I felt like I felt like I was being tested um, mm. to a certain degree because it's like, oh, okay, mm. like you just found running, cool. Here's gout, deal with that. Yeah, <laughs> you know what are you gonna what are you gonna do with this with this challenge? Yeah, and you know, uh, something yeah. interesting, Sean, real quick is just in in Brazil when you run with people who run a lot and they're talking about running, they don't actually call it running; they call it the test. Yeah, and they say they say boa prova. They said yeah. they say have a good test whenever totally. you run. So it's that's totally fitting that you saw it like that. That's awesome. Well, you have to. I I don't know how else. Like, I, there's no good. There's no other good answer to do that to yourself. Yeah. You know, like yeah. There's not really. There's a part of it that you enjoy. You know, like once you're in the in the in the distance that you're comfortable with, you're like, oh, this is great. And as soon as you start, you know, if you have like a, a rough sleep the night before, you're going a little further than you might feel comfortable with. Um, then it is absolutely a test. There was yeah. a, you know, I, I did a half marathon for the first time, I think in 2019, and that was just before COVID. And I was really, really proud of that. But I was really scared of it before mm -hmm. that. And I had done it in memory of a friend who'd passed away uh, to suicide, uh, a high school friend of mine who passed away a long time ago. So I, I always wanted to like just, do him right and and honor him in that way mm. and, and push myself to do that. And so the the half marathon scared the the I was gonna say the it scared the, the lights out of me. Yeah. And I never got used to it. The the half marathon always, always really frightened me. Um even after I'd done it, you know, a couple times more a couple years later. So I don't even know what it was. It was like this this moment, this thought of I don't want to be scared of that anymore. So I'm gonna sign up for a bunch of those in uh, 2023. I'm going to sign up for one a month until I'm not scared of that anymore. Nice. And it's like, it's just a classic, typical, you know, face your fears kind of thing. And what ended up happening was I ac accomplished my goal of not being afraid of the half marathon anymore. And what I accidentally did was train for a marathon. 
Huh. Hey, when that go. happens, what happy a, accident. Yeah, what totally, a happy accident. Again, like, yeah, you just put in the mileage and it's just amazing. You um, fell asleep running and you woke up 42 kilometers later. You're like, sometimes oh, man, it feels like I, that. I you totally kind of hope for it. <laughs> totally missed the half marathon and just fell asleep and went to 42. It just felt like running, you know? Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> just felt like running. <laughs> just felt like running. So, um, yeah, when, uh, when gout hit the second time, I reached out to Mark and I was just like, dude, I don't know about this, but like, I feel like, I feel like this is like, there's an intention behind this. I feel like I've got to, I've got to figure out how I'm going to, I'm going to handle this. And because it's, it was really damaging to me just to, to yeah. have that taken away twice. And, um, cause it just seemed like such a positive thing. And I'm like, I finally got it. And so I reached out and it just, um, that was one of those moments where I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get back in touch with this. And then, um, our good friend Gabe passed away earlier mm, this year. Yeah, cool. yeah. And it was his service that they streamed. And it's like between that and I think it was Ed on Married to the Games talking about, you know, why him? Why why not any any of us? Why why are we still here? And it was this notion of like he has served his purpose. Like he yep. he was here for a mm -hmm. reason and he did what he was what he what he was put here to do. And it's like I don't think I've ever heard anything make more sense than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. In relation to, especially in relation to, to Gabe, it's like, yeah. So what are we going to do? You know, we're still here. And it's so IRL and Iggle, like to, to me, like I, I don't have a, a specific story. I'd love to tell you guys that I got pulled over by a cop listening to the Bible on uh, <laughs> on my phones. <laughs> yeah. I would never because I would never. I follow the the law. I know the updated laws in my area. You know, I and that's I would, good. That would, that that's would not happen good. to me, of course. Um, but I'm I'm so pleased with this podcast, and I'm proud of you guys for for making it and and bringing it into into the lives for 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 people who are actively practicing Catholics, Christians, etc. Um, but for those of us who are sort of like somewhat in i think the show um like plays a really important role so i just wanted to thank you for that um so yeah thank you, thanks, for, sharing that. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. thanks for that and man if i'd known you were a runner i missed that somewhere i would have totally brought up more running stuff so we could you talk follow me on shop. twitter if you want i'm not i'm, I'm <laughs> totally insatiable about it uh yeah. but i set a goal All for 100 right. kilometers this sure. month and i pass it this morning Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah just over, that's just awesome. Over 100, so the gout, yeah, I'm actually... Just don't want gout. Stay I'm away. getting back in slowly. I actually, oh, yeah. when I when I did my 21, that was actually a 24K. Like, it hit me pretty hard after a while. Awesome. I tried to get back in a little too quick. And they my body score was, again! The Oilers score hey, let's again! Go. Oh, my <laughs> God! <laughs> this is looking good. Now, what? Update me on the Oilers. Is this... Which, uh, which game is this? This is ice oh, hockey. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I know that. Which game? Is it the first, the second, third, fourth, oh, fifth? Oh, my God. This is game five? This is game five. They're down in the series three to one. Things have been looking terrible. They they won the last game right. eight to one, this which is, is the bonkers. Turnaround. That's crazy. This is what oh. we're going to do. It's going this when do well. they When do they get back to Edmonton? So they'll play tonight, and then it'll be three nights from now. So what is that? If they they have to win though, like if they lose, it's over. If they if the Florida Panthers win tonight, they win the Stanley Cup. Like this is, I'm sorry to interrupt, but no, man, this is as this big is... a deal as it gets. This is yeah, it's awesome, a national man. holiday today. I was just gonna say <laughs> we need to keep as sports rules go. Since they're then since they're hot in this situation, we got to record the podcast now. Every time you've got to be with us, Ooh. and we've got to recreate <laughs> this. Yes, that's every right. time that's they play how, now. That's how sports works, and we, that's we how, the how they're gonna win. <laughs> yep. Oh damn it! That's how it oh. works. No, nope, you jinx it. Uh, four, to, four to just score four two. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Oops, Lucas, you can't, not on you can't mess with the hockey gods. And I just, I, the Panthers score, right. and we got a curse word. <laughs> back to who? I said back hockey gods. Jesus. You can't mess with the hockey gods. <laughs> I don't think it was. There's a lot of forgiveness. Ninja Jesus is yeah. flipping over a oh table right gosh. now. That's all right. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh man. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Anyway, that's well, awesome to hear. Went for yeah. a long run. Had a great Father's Day. Got back home. 
uh and i was exhausted but i was trying to make it like a big deal because um the kids had everything ready for me they're like dad you're home i'm like everything hurts my and i want to die my <laughs> nose hurts my, actually it was funny um because I, I was saying that to my kids I'm like everything hurts and uh my son he's the lincoln um we named him lincoln so that we could call him link for short uh and my daughter's oh, yeah, ellie so i love that snuck those in yeah. there yeah yeah uh so i said lincoln like everything hurts buddy and he goes does your nose hurt? I'm like, no, actually it doesn't. He's like, does your hand hurt? I'm like, man, you look at you. Just like, look at all the positive dude. Just like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh man. My oh, cheeks yeah, are wait. fine. My hair's good. Like my ears are okay. I think I'm all right. I'm going to make it. There you go. That's where... Yeah. I think so. Things are looking up. You got this dad. <laughs> if it was my dad. Like he'd be like, does your hand hurt? And you're like, no. You're like, well, slam your hand in the door. You'll forget all about everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good strategy. Wise words. Yeah. Oh yep, man. Yep. But I had a, had a good Father's Day. Uh, we're going to build some model rockets that I got for uh, as a gift, which is very, very sweet. Oh, and then uh, the only other Ooh. thing I want to tell you guys on the IRL front is we got a minivan yesterday. Ooh, yeah. the minivan club. Which one? Which one did uh, you get? It's a Toyota Sienna. I'm very, okay. very oh, yeah. happy good. with it. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. Yes. we were this it. close to getting a Sienna when we oh. needed a car. It was oh, going to be either a Sienna or an Odyssey. Odyssey, um, that's the other one. That's yep. Those yeah, are the man, choices. The Odyssey is nice, dude. But I'm we, you, we didn't end up getting either of those. We got oh. Chevy Traverse. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> plot twist. My, my wife absolutely hates the way a minivan looks, and I'm like, I don't oh. care. You oh. don't like. We got three kids. The practicality mm -hmm. vastly outrules. How cool I look in a minivan. Honestly, dude, care. we were driving around yesterday in it and the windshield and the window. It's also, I felt like I was in like a tour bus. Like it was just like, look at all this. We could see everything. This feels great. I look back and my kids are in like their captain's seat. They're just like, they're, they're happy as clams, man. It's yeah. so great. My daughter this morning went to my wife and said, like, thank you for the minivan, mommy. I really love it. It's like, this is <laughs> yeah. the Let's best. Go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, you got we're, the entertainment center in the back, too? No, it, this is as base model as it gets. Like, oh. this is, this is, yeah, we. They got they iPads. Etch They're fine. They put Etch-a-Sketches. They got 2DSs. Etch-a-Sketches are in the, yeah. <laughs> the place of the televisions. Is this They're a new minivan? Go. Like, brand new? Brand new. Yeah, we waited oh, for nice. months. My, my wife yeah. has been talking about a minivan since the day we met, basically. Before kids, before family or anything, she's like, I just want you to know I want a minivan. I think great. Um, and we finally did. We finally realized die. the dream, man. We've been <laughs> patient. <laughs> That's so like first date stuff. Like, oh, what are you All into? Right. Minivans. Minivans. <laughs> when, you, when you start, I think I think for us, we, we we're both uh, late 20s. And, you know, she had a timeline to deal with. You know, you got to get married. Right. You got to the kids, mm -hmm. like, do the thing. So get they, the plans. Time by that they always have plans. So wait, yeah. what's the next step after the minivan? Yeah, I don't know. Like, go to Disneyland, I, I guess. Like, all right, all right, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're so um. Yeah, wait, the Disneyland life, in the minivan? Like, you're gonna drive great. it there? That'd be great. We'll probably road just trip? end up going to like. Whew, that'll be a long road trip. Yeah, it's too far. I would love to do it actually, but oddly enough, I so or I have you could friends. run it and you can meet him there. Oh gosh, absolutely <laughs> not. I'm gonna start running to Disneyland. I'll meet you there in five months. I'm mean, going to have to yeah, bring some exactly. water with me on these runs. Yeah, you will have to hydrate this yeah. time around. Good idea. Totally good. I have friends that live in Calgary. And oh, we've nice. been up to see them a couple of times. Um, I We've flown both times. But I want to do the drive. But then when I look at it, it's like two days. And I'm like, eh, maybe yeah, not. No. <laughs> like, yeah, that's far. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The, the miles from Edmonton <laughs> <laughs> to Disney World. Is Disney the World. Disney World. Wait, land. I was say, world. land. Land is close. Land, because that's. Oh, you want to do land? land? West Coast. Land. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I was like, well, that's <laughs> that's a long way. Oh, it's uh, you're, yeah. You're cutting it in about a, about half. It's only yeah. it's only one thousand four hundred fifteen miles. Easy. Woo! Don't worry Easy. about it. Yeah. Easy. Oh, so no, no, that's straight distance. Road distance. I mean, that's that's what we're getting. It's seventeen hundred miles. So oh, okay. God. <laughs> he no is thing. good. At a rate what? of three <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> three miles there. per hour? Are you crawling? Gross. What? Three miles per hour? Isn't that just a jog? Troll. No. Three miles. That's, crazy. that's a walk. That's a that's, that's, that's walk. a walk. Yeah, that's a walk. That's yeah, like okay. a. That's a. That's a you, I mean, you're not gonna run the entire time. I mean, like I know Sean. Real man doing, run the whole time. <laughs> you've been running, running all the, every. You, you, what are you look? I never said, and I also never said any of this was fast. I'm just. What is it? What is your usual pace, Sean, that you shoot for? 
per kilometer? Oh, I have no idea, man. Um, depends on the like... distance. Yeah, I don't know. I range. I yeah, I don't know. I don't even. It's not fast. <laughs> what was your What was your twenty six k? How long did it take you? Uh, it was a little over three hours. I think it was three hours ten minutes. All right. So slow. Like it's. That's fine. That's yeah. uh, honestly my preferred pace is around seven kilometers an. Uh, yeah, I think hour. it. Yeah, it's, seven kilometers an hour around is there, around what like I prefer. Yeah. yeah. I don't like so to just rush do it. that to Disneyland, I guess. Yeah. And bring the kids. Exactly. Put them in the red yeah. wagon. We'll just make it. <laughs> yeah. That'd be that'd be fun. Yeah. Goodness. Uh, on the Ifl side, I have been playing my 3DS. You guys, I know you don't give a damn about. Uh, <laughs> really. <Nintendo. laughs> Absolutely love Nintendo. So. I know you don't know where your pro controller is, but like, <laughs> <laughs> Bust next it. episode, Mark, you have to find your pro controller and just like nail it to the wood. <laughs> yeah, put like a put like a there it is. On it. <laughs> like those apple tags or whatever. Listen, I was, and I'm not gonna go into specifics because I know you haven't watched it yet, but I was thoroughly excited after the Nintendo Direct today. So I'm gonna watch it right after this. You yes. are in for a treat, sir. Spoilers. Mario's there. I don't know. I haven't watched any of it. Probably. I, no Probably. Idea. Just ask for no spoilers. Oh, just what have you done? Yeah. I haven't been on Twitter all day. Wow, that's yeah. impressive. Me, me neither. That's... I haven't either, actually. Mm. I don't so, what's Twitter? Twitter? You mean X? X. I mean X. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So you've been yeah, playing yeah. your three. <laughs> yes. Did you just say you meow, 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 Patrick? Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. Okay, what is this show? What is even going on right now? <laughs> Don't. Uh, so I'm not going to. Um. So, what have you been playing on your 3ds? I just wrapped up a Link Between Worlds, yes. which uh, came out a long time ago. But man, I love that game. And one of the reasons I'm doing that, and I'm hoping to see it on the Nintendo Direct, I'm trying to will into existence a port of this game onto Switch. Uh, I want games from the 3DS to come onto Switch. There's a lot of great games uh, on that platform. And and the 3DS was one that kind of got me back into Nintendo in like a big nerdy way. I feel yeah. like everybody had a Wii. You know, everybody and their dog and their grandma had a Wii. I did and have not, a Wii. Yep. Not, not, not all the grown-ups had a 3DS. And I, I really enjoyed that that thing. And I made it a bit of a goal this year to to reignite a little bit of that that 3DS love. So. I had I had a 3DS XL. I had a 2DS. I had one of those like crappy like the ones that don't fold. Yeah, like, it looks my like kids a... have two. My kids each have one of those. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, had the they're... um. I think mine was actually the uh the Ocarina of Time, the uh Zelda one, the special edition they came out with. Mm -hmm. so... Yeah, I've got I've got a bunch actually. It's it's. A I think I had a 3DS back for about 2.5 seconds and then I broke it. <laughs> oh, dude, I love these things. <laughs> wow record yeah. yeah so i've actually sold a few of them i've started like selling a bunch of my collectibles on ebay so back when this was a thing my wife and i would just collect three yeses and then we had kids and realized well that was a stupid way to spend our money so <laughs> started started selling a bunch of those recently which is there you go good for the credit card <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah i think that's me i feel like i've been talking that for you? four hours no 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 you're, you're good. good sorry about that guys no, it's no, all good. Dude. It's all good. Um, so we're going to actually, I'm going to, I was going to call an audible, but I'm recalling the audible. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a few Omaha! Earl, Earl, Omaha! Iffle, <laughs> Earl Iffle Iggle updates. And then we also have a question for Sean Capri. But we're going to save that one to the very end. All right. Uh, boss fight with Angry Sun. That would be A. -A Ron. <laughs> Earl, it's. So hot. The subcontractors told us our new AC unit would be here in a week, two weeks ago. And now that my aunt's trying to get to call an update, everyone's miraculously hard to find. They're lucky they're dealing with her and not with me because I think it's time to start holding back condo fees. See how fast we become a priority once the money stops. Mm. So you tell them how it is. I 100% agree with that. Do that. And I bet you that you will get a faster response. There you go. You heard it from uh, the handyman himself. Also, you should have just let me come and fix your AC. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. He could have already walked there and fixed it, Aaron. You just, just call him up. Just let him know. Give him your address. Uh, Ifl, 
Euden Chronicle, Mount and Blade 2. A big patch is coming up for City Skylines 2 as well. That's supposed to represent a major overhaul. So I'm looking forward to that, although I may try to spend most of this week in places that have actual air conditioning because they're predicting temps near 100 degrees later this week. Mm-hmm. No, boy, Canada. Canada. We don't even know what that means. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> that's unheard of, right? That's maximum hot. I was about to say, if that happened in Canada, <laughs> y'all might actually melt. <laughs> Is that, that's like 45 degrees Celsius, somewhere around there? I'm trying to remember. 100? No way. Nah, it's more like 36, 30, right? Yeah, 35, something like that. Is it 35? Yeah. Really that low? Yeah, that seems the, really low. The conversion the rate to find out. I'm, lo- I'm looking it up right now. It's 37.7. Yeah, 37.7. That's, that's 7. All right. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's warm. Hot. All right. Lukewarm Riffle. Earl, my daughter, two years old, was sick. I'm glad you know your daughter's age. Lukewarm Riffle. Good job. <laughs> Showing <laughs> off out here. I know. I'm yeah, like some people over here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Age. Age. He's like thir- 13 or 30. I don't know. All right. My two year old daughter was sick, throwing up all day. Ugh. Oh, oh. Poor girl. That's sad. On Father's, On Father's Day. On Father's Day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I was able to stay home and play games all day long. Well, hey, wait, wait, what? Turn your line. Uh-huh. It totally here's redeemed a, yourself. Here's a Benadryl. I'm playing games. I'll be I'll be back in a few hours. How long I got? Okay. <laughs> When's this wear off? All right. I held her almost all day, and she slept on me while I played. Nice. Hmm. Way to multitask. I felt bad. She was sick though. No. I mean, who sure. hasn't That's done that? Rough. Who, oh. who has who hasn't played games without a kid in their hands? I 100 percent did. The first yeah. Destiny raid that I ever did. Yep. I was holding and feeding Kingston. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you Raise find a way. You find a way. Life uh finds a way. And I clutched the encounter because my entire <laughs> team died. And they were like, oh my God, Ryan, you have to stay alive. I was like, God just <laughs> <laughs> All right. He said, my son, who's six, gosh, Luke, do you just have to rub it in that you know your children's age? So ages? perfect. He's doing the ages. Uh, I love it. I know. It is. Uh, I got to go fishing with my wife and her dad Sunday. Then lawnmower races. That sounds fun. Ooh. And end of the evening at the circus. Did you see Jesus? Okay, moving on. No. <laughs> <laughs> And smited twice. Uh, (laughs) He was so excited to see everything there. Transformer, Spider-Man, acrobatics, (laughs) motorcyclists in a round cage, and even rode on an elephant. Man, living the life. His son rode an elephant? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Did you ride the elephants now? At the circus? I guess yeah. that's what they do. Just throw a kid on an elephant. Like, who wants <laughs> an elephant? Seems, throw him up. That seems dangerous. <laughs> that seems very not safe. supervised. Come on. Yeah, there are people around know what they're doing. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh. They have lots oh, of peanuts. All right. I felt bad that I didn't spend Father's Day with him, really, but at the same time, it's Father's Day, and I got to play games all day. Ha ha. (laughs) (laughs) Suck it, nerd. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Ifl, I tried a couple of Game Pass games that didn't hold my attention. That yeah, that's why they're on Game Pass, probably. That's most of them. Uh, oh, but damn. was still fun. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Uh, was still fun to check out. I mostly played Dragon Age Inquisition Classic yes. for six and a half hours. All right. Woo! That's on it Game was, Pass. It was a that lot of fun. It is on Game Pass. Is it good? Uh, it is. Maybe it I'll is add good. that to the games that I was going to That you're not going to play? play? Yeah. <laughs> because of Destiny? Yeah. Look, games I'm, I'm not going to play. Once I finish, <laughs> once once I finish, finish. Destiny, I'm going to... I'm going to play those PlayStation games. Uh, and then you uh, cross them off the list as you don't play them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, and yeah. Uh, I watched the YouTube playthrough. Mission highlight. complete. Yep. <laughs> uh, but Luke said it was a lot of fun. I've never played any of those games, but definitely my style, full show. All right. All right, all right. All right, last, last but not least, not Kevin Bacon, a.k.a. Timmy Pollan. He said, Earl, let's get the bad out of the way. I spent Father's Day missing my dad. That's um, it. Now the good. My wife is amazing. And my youngest son made a surprise visit. Good weekend. Mm. Nice. That's a bittersweetness. Oh, right yeah. There. I forgot to talk about Father's Day. Oh, well. 
then nothing really happened. At least you. Uh, at least I remembered I had children. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a dad. I'm a, wait, well, I'm a father. <laughs> How did this? Well, happen? like my my mom and dad came over, and like my uncle who lives in Chicago came down. Um, but it wasn't just for me. He was visiting all over for family. Um, you want to hear how bad I was, Ryan? Uh, I told my family, we called my dad on Tuesday for his birthday, so he's good. We'll just call your dad. <laughs> yes, that's fine. My dad would love it. He, he wouldn't care. The he only goes, thing I did only what? was once I got back from work, because I had to go to work because one of my coworkers was lazy. Um, Calling him out. I, ha- I got to cook a cowboy steak. Does anyone know what a cowboy steak is? I think the silence maybe says yeah. something. I don't yeah. know. It's got a hat no on idea. it. It's a steak that's about three you inches wear thick. While you're making it, it's got spurs. Yeah, it's a Yeehaw. it's like a three inch thick steak and that weighs. I don't know how many pounds that steak was. The old ninety sixer. You can't. It, it was. It was a lot. You um, can't start eating it until you say this town ain't big enough for yeah. the two of us. I literally gave some to my parents. We had half of it for dinner, and I still have half of it in my refrigerator. Oh my god, those look good, man! Oh, they are freaking massive. (laughs) Yes, they're so big they got three halves. It's like a tomahawk, man. How many halves? It's a baby tomahawk because it's really what it is. It's a baby (laughs) tomahawk. Welcome to the improper fraction steak. (laughs) Half to my, half to my parents, half to myself, and then half. And then, dude, it was so much. (laughs) And that was from that was like a parting gift from one of the residents of my old place. Nice. And it was like That's a $60 awesome. steak. I was like, That's great. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Mm, there yeah. you go. Mm. All right. Uh, uh, Timmy said, Iffelfront, the usual fortnight with Mark, Pat, and Justin. I am two hours into Sinuan Saga and really digging it more than yeah. the first. All right. And holy crap, it is pretty. It sure is. Is it pretty? It sure is. That's about it. Speaking of pretty games, <laughs> watch it. It's so about as pretty off, as man. X-Men Apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> oh no, it's way prettier than X-Men Apocalypse. Ivan <laughs> Ooze is back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of pretty games, uh FH5 dropped Forza a new Horizon car 5. pack. Yes. That was Fatal Hurry. Fatal I need Hurry. To That's what it was called. <laughs> Fatal Hurry 5. Uh, let's see. There's three Kit DeLoreans. From Knight Rider, really? Kit from Knight Rider and the Jurassic Park Jeep. I know, I know, but dang, if I love this game. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. man. We that's all got cool. that game, Timmy. Some of us have multiple of those games, but it's I need all to good. Go, go ahead and download that just because of the back. I mean, just DeLorean. to drive around a DeLorean sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, question for the Sean Capri What's it like being the king of Canadian podcasts? That's the question. Like, Go ahead. Big fish in a small pond. Is that the analogy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll stick with that. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Seriously, though, it's awesome to see you. Uh, Ryan and the crew grow carpool gaming into the next kind of funny. It's neat. Go Thank Oilers you, and God bless. Go Oilers. Yes. Um, you guys know me. I don't I don't like compliments like that, but um carpool gaming is it will go down uh when it when it has come time for me to be at the end of my time here on earth i will look back on the carpool gaming era and just go like what a time man so lucky so i'll tell you what I, when i when i'm turning on an episode and i see that i've been listening to it to for over two hours i'm like how long is this one yeah, this going. is almost three hours mm-hmm. <laughs> let's go when it, man. When it doesn't feel like work man like you guys know yeah. it like you know you yeah. Yeah. yeah then you're on the other side of it yeah. yeah, and then the next week it's an hour and a half. I'm like, let's get out of here. And then the next week's back up to two and a half hours. I'm like, here, let's go. We do what now, we want. now we're now mm-hmm. we're now we're cooking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and June has been so fun with summer game fest and everything, just kind of like yes. covering it. And uh, I think was, like, one of your episodes was over three hours this we past just, week, right? Totally. Yeah, Fiona yes. played like 13 demos, I think, like just going nuts on Ooh. on Steam, just talking about games, man. It's so fun. Yeah. It's yeah. Like the, the the big thing for us is like there's so much conversation about games 
but they're not about the games. You know, like we're really just trying to hone in on playing games and, and talking about that. And the rest is out there and that's great. And there's people who enjoy that kind of stuff. But like, we've just been loving talking about games, you know, so games. kind of a weird concept, I guess, but it makes it different <laughs> right. and that's cool. Yeah. I need to play games on your phone. Play video <laughs> games, play Destiny 2. I need to Destiny give me a, Destiny. I need to give me a poolside Bobby t-shirt. I need oh, to do that. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody just bringing their best. It's so cool. Yep. Awesome. All right. Well, that is all from us. And that's all, all from you all too, because we went through the discord. We already got ahead of the game. I didn't even go through the whole rigmarole of uh, what's going on in your neck of the woods. We already know what's going on in your neck of the woods. So quick housekeeping, housekeeping. where we offer towels fluff pillows topped with Andy's candies and tip you off to how you can connect with the GMGU on X on discord, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, you can share what's going on there. Connect with us. Of course, if you'd rather connect visually or spectatorly. There's YouTube and Twitch, a plethora of joiners stream there. So find their links in the discord and check them out. Speaking of checking them out, Sean plug what you want to plug. So people can check you out again for the oh. two and a half people that don't know how to connect with you. Please uh, follow me on Twitter if you like. That would be great. It's Sean like Connor. You could pre like the pants. And also, if you wanted to, oh damn it, I was gonna do my. Um, <laughs> my, my... I'm not allowed to say that, am I? <laughs> That's <laughs> too <laughs> right. <laughs> that would take you four times to realize you're not supposed to say um, it, but it's yeah, all sorry. good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. And and also just FYI, we Canadian don't edit either. on this podcast. <laughs> so it's I'm so up. sorry about that. The, the uh, grand add me on things, Switch. Add me on Switch. My friend code is SW six eight seven nine zero two three six six five eighty eight. Just like Eric Lindros. Very nice. Love it. The end. Sweet. Thank you for sharing all of that. That's awesome. All righty. All right, Lola. Finally, on Patreon, I'm just going to turn out of this kid and crash the car. Uh, Patreon, our merch page. You can support and gear up with us if you like. Click on that one link to rule them all. I did it this past week. Linktree.com slash the GMG pod. It works. All the clicks and the links. That's good. Uh, of course, if you can't toss your attention or a coin to your podcasters, but it's still the giving type, please rate and review us on Apple Podcast and Podchaser and Spotify. Um, and also you can let your voice be heard, literally, if you prefer it, 929 GMG guys. All righty then, Pat, Mark, Ryan, Sean. Thank you so much for joining us, Sean. It was a uh, thank you, yes, Sean. It's a pleasure yeah. to have you. Thank you. Lovely sorry about on. the cursing. I'm sorry. About nah, I mean, you. that's the least of you. Have you heard the rest of the podcast about Jesus flipping <laughs> over tables? <laughs> I just want neck to be neck right now. I think you're the yeah. only one that's not going to be smart. <laughs> 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 I did. I did laugh yeah, at it. I don't though, know. So. One of those. Yeah, he's he's. <laughs> He's aiding and embedding by laughing. Complicit. Yep, he's <laughs> complicit. All right. Well, along with you guys and you, dear joiners, friends, family, you go get your good morning this week. And may God bless and guide your lives as you live, as you work, and as you game. One, two, three, four.